Hello and welcome back everybody to another video of Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Lion of Hyrule. Last time we were playing we were <clears throat> helping Poppy with some poachers and found out that they had been running an illegal dragon rink named Horntail Hall. And uh we went out on an adventure to put an end to that right quick. So we did that and now we are going to go and check out and talk to Poppy again to get a little bit more of a debrief as to what happened to that dragon egg that we recovered when we found the mama dragon being chained and stuff. Um, and then we're going to go help Nutsai. And continue on in the story. If you like what you see, hit that like button and let's begin. Lumos. What about you taking down that troll in the village circle? You certainly made an impression. Still talking about it to this day, huh, Serona? That's amazing. Over here. Hi, Poppy. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack evolving. always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Uh. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Sure. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay. Well... That takes care of that. And now I'm going to be going to help Natsai. I'm going to find out where this is. Go speak with Nutsai. So frustrating. This doesn't look good. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped <laughs> to speak with you alone, Nutsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Nutsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. Uh. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! Ow. My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilla Land, Father would still be with us. 
I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Hmm. So we humans are stubborn. I don't think so. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Mm-hmm. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. That's but it gets fun. easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Different perspectives are always needed. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Just as stubborn as your mom. Oof. Lumos. Huh. All right, let's go get this here quest. Oh, it's down one more flight.
Crow, it's you. Just the person I need. So, Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William, the one I told you about after charms class. Yep. He's he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Yeah, I bet he was loving it. Beats for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, I it's mean, terrible. How, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Oh, absolutely. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Nothing about this is easy. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Wait. 
Merlin trial when I see one. Yeah, I'm going to ignore it when I see one. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Ooh, puff skins. Everything's all right now. Revelio. tell you I don't need my bag anymore well my feet didn't turn into beads that's a good that's, start that is a good, uh, good start Revelio. Lumos. Why do I have a feeling I'm going to get jumped? Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Lumos. Of course. Pass. A, a troll? You can't be serious. Come here. I just pretend I'll try to see ya. I seriously hope there are no spiders in here. A sarcophagus. <laughs> that should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, I have to 
to get out manually? That's lame. All right, back up we go. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants. Lumos. Lumos. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Me too. Revelio. Pick some. I'll pick up some potions while I'm out here too. Arresto momentum. Professor Revelio. Arresto momentum. Samantha. All right, there she is. That's the last time I have a potion idea. Revelio. I decided, decided against walking. It was too long. Plus, I didn't want to deal with all the load screens. Lumos.
Still have to deal with one though. Rebellion. Well, this isn't creepy at all. So this is the underground harbor. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. <sighs> Revelio. Not making this easy. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Er, only. Revelio. Lumos. Aha. We're gonna say it. <laughs> Revelio. There are only so many places this thing could be. Lumos. Looks like it's above Lumos. me. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Intermediate Transfiguration. Yes, I am. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia, 
I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the Wizarding World. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, for oh, a good reason. They don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Okay. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? That would be Felix Felicis. Felix Harry Felicis. Potter even well mentions done. it. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Oh. Uh, three brothers. <sighs> The Founder's Relics. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. Dang it, According to Beedle the Bard, answer. the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Dang. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? That would be the qu Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows a drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. Crap. While polyjuice potion can be used to change things such ah. as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Right. Well, species is animal. Has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't do. be giving you any more easy questions either. The Dang next it. ones will be more difficult. Well, that's rude. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. All right. Very good to make quick work of this. Want to test your knowledge on some more difficult questions? No. I, I'm sorry. I don't have. Let me know if you change your mind. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. All right. Should attend Transfiguration. Lumos. What? I'm going to warp. Lumos. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor? Yes, the transformation spell. But first, I'd like you to carry out a couple of tasks which will help you to complete your field guide. Attend my transfiguration class once you've done them and we can begin the lesson. <sighs> Forgot it was night. Dang it. There we go. Hello, birdie. Beautiful. Settle down. Settle Did down. That bird Transfiguration, just turned into a as you may be buck. weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. That's cool. But 
We needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. Yep, I know. Aloha, Mora. See, what have we got in here? Bombarder. Oh. Revelio. Anything in here? Oh, okay. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. None and at frankly, all. Excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, yep. the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities i don't know Was what you're talking about conversation with mr olivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the owlery connected in any way to professor fig hmm you cornered me professor fig has encouraged me to explore when i can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide i see I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll yep. be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until Great. then, well done. You are dismissed. Thank you. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Um, sure. Glad to see you were paying close attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. <sighs> my plan with the helmet failed. I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there. 
and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meat mentioning something about gobbledygook. You bother. Actually, I don't want to do that one just yet. before I knew where I need to be. Alright, I think I'll stop this video here. Thank you for watching. This has been Lion of Hyrule. Next time we play, we'll be helping... Or we'll be doing a quest with Sebastian. Not necessarily helping him, but... We're going to be doing a quest with Sebastian. And doing a gobble the gook. Uh, with the Lodcock. So until then, this has been Lion of Hyrule. And I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, magical day. And I will catch you next time.